Welcome to this next video in our series of describing and demonstrating the art of rolling premium cigars with Jorge Gonzalez Pardo of PrivateCigarBrands.com. Now, so far in this series, we have seen Jorge demonstrate the accordion type of bunching, the book style of bunching, although he did it without using the Lieberman uh, machine that they normally use in the Dominican Republic. And he also showed us how the true Cuban maestros do their bunching in Havana, Cuba, which is where he learned, and that is the intubado method of doing the bunching. That's where each filler leaf is rolled into itself before it goes into the binder leaf. All of those are pressed into molds, and now we're going to show there are even two different schools of thought insofar as how the wrappers are applied. And in this video, Jorge, I know it's not your normal style, but uh, please okay. show us how they do it uh, Dominican style. No problem. It's no big deal. Okay. This is the wrapper. Take off the super border. Inferior border. Remember, this is the half of the leaf. One leaf, regular leaf, is like this. Right, left. And you have previously already stripped out the vein, yes. showing how you had uh, done that technique. Actually, in the, in the factory, we have a department who prepared the wrapper for us, the cigar rollers. In the Dominican Republic, they actually have a machine that strips out that vein there. Now you take the bunch that has been previously pressed into the molds, and how they do it in the Dominican, they simply wrap it, and then... Now the glue is uh, a seaweed-based gel. It's a pectin, right? Yes, sir. Seaweed-based gel. Used before, before this glue, in the factories, use uh, cornstarch, but it's not good. Contaminate the tobacco with cockroaches. Cockroaches. What is the name? <laughs> cockroaches. Cockroaches, or whatever. Uh Okay, so now you cut off part of that tobacco on the head of the cigar, and you're opening this up now. What is, what is this is called the flag? The flag. Uh, cut. Let make it this. It's like a torpedo, but it's not. It's with less um, less quality. And then again with the glue, you're just going to glue that around the shoulder of the cigar. Now with my device. You're just basically covering over the head. Make a circle cut. That's it. It's nothing special. This and is that finish. is the Dominican school of doing the outside wrapping. Now, the uh, the end of the cigar there, and it comes down, they call that the uh, the two-ring finish. Uh, now, why why is that the two-ring they, finish? They call this technique uh, capa corrida. The, the other technique is the, the two-ring gates. It's the Cuban technique. This one is capa corrida. The Cuban is three rings. This is maybe one, half, maybe one. But this... Capa Corrida is the name. And this technique is faster, is that right? Of course, it's yeah. the people can do... Uh, remember, in Dominican Republic, we have two cigar rollers, a team. One guy prepared the bunches, and one guy prepared to make the finish. One guy who prepared to make the finish can do around, I don't know, 400 cigars a day, 500 cigars a day. Anybody in Cuba with the Cuban technique or oh, anybody in, around the world with a Cuban technique can do 500 wrappers with this technique. It's impossible because it's more skilled. You're going to see in the next video, the other technique is very complicated. All right. Well, Jorge, thank you very much. That's Jorge Gonzalez Pardo of PrivateCigarBrands.com demonstrating how the Dominican school does the finish or the wrapping of the cigar. Thank you, Jorge. It's a pleasure.